Okay, uh, this is Eric again. I'd um, like to give kind of an audio commentary uh, to the system. Um, on the left hand side right here, this is uh, in from the wind turbine. Uh, we have uh, uh, the option of braking in case it's uh, going too fast. Uh, like right now the wind turbine is spinning very fast, so we have about 20 mile per hour winds outside. Um, you have the dummy load right here, dummy resistive load. Um, right now I have it actually disconnected. You can see I just don't have it connected right now. Um, but this is right here. This shows you how many amps it would be producing. Um, I have uh, this right here. This is from Trimetric inside of a junction box. This is from the solar system actually. Um, and I have my batteries coming into it as well. It basically tells me my voltage um, right now. Um, that's my string, 102. Uh, so batteries right now are about 12.8 volts, so they're, they're fairly charged right now. It goes up to about 13.6 volts for my 12-volt uh, battery system. Um, so yeah, and then 102 volts for the string of uh, the solar panels. And again, this is um, all of my batteries right here. And I'll go over that in just a moment. So I have quite a few. Um, bought these at um, Batteries Plus which is a ch like a chain store um, here in Florida and I actually got a really good deal um, where did I buy these? I bought these um, these Duracells I think at actually Walmart um, for about half the price uh, these right here were about 220 these X2 power batteries um, deep cycle batteries um, and you can see the, the batteries plus right there I think I paid about 220 uh, for each of those, $220. But these Duracells right here um, have had pretty good reviews, and I believe I, I um, um, got yeah got these at Walmart for about uh, I think $140, so almost $100 cheaper. So a little bit better deal to get the Duracell. Um, okay, so um, I actually have uh, two inverters um, going from the uh, DC panels to my batteries, and then I go from my batteries to AC. Uh, with that unit, but we'll focus on the TriStar, and I have a midnight solar unit. Uh, and the reason why I have two inverters, I actually have uh, one panel, which is an old BP 24 volt, uh, which I converted to 12 volts, and that's going through this one. And this used to be my old inverter before I upgraded the system. So that's the TriStar Morning Star. It's been a pretty good uh, inverter so far. Um, gets pretty hot right here, so has the heat sinks. Now this right here, did a lot of research on that, this is the midnight solar unit um, and this right here um, gives you a lot more information actually than the TriStar, I like it a little bit better. Um, you can kinda see, hopefully it's not too blurry, you can see it's 12.7 uh, uh, volts, uh, pulling about 16 amps and it's actually rising, the, the sun is actually coming out right now. So um, this is a pretty cool unit. Um, also a uh, cool addition uh, to the Midnight Solar Unit is that I'm able to put a Linksys unit. You can see the, the Linksys right here, just a cheap router. Um, I'm able to hook up and um, since I, um, you know, I, uh, we're in a pretty rural area right now, uh, this Linksys is invaluable because I'm able to monitor everything and it has a, like, uh, Midnight Solar has a really cool program uh, that I can log in, uh, connect to this Linksys, log into that program and monitor everything, does data logging, very neat. Um, this is the Midnight Solar um, uh, switch. So basically what I have is I have the, the switch on my left is for my wind turbine, switch one. Uh, switch two is for um, um, all my other solar panels, and then switch three is that one BP 12 volt panel. Um, so I have two strings on switch two, and that also came with the, the midnight solar controller. I um, have an inverter uh, cut off, but that's for that. Actually, let's go to the batteries. So again, I can also switch off um, my batteries off and on. Um, everything is, a, is on a 12 volt system. So you can see I have all the batteries. And then the batteries actually go to a uh, DC uh, to AC power inverter. And I've gone through probably three of these units. Um, have not been able to found, find one that lasted more than a year except for this one right here. It's called by Ames Power. I believe it's uh, out of Canada, if I remember correctly. Um, so it's a pretty nice uh, um, DC to AC power inverter. Fairly large. Um, Really, really do like the quality. I've had a couple Chinese ones blow out on me, a um, couple one, one or two American ones that didn't last, but this one seems to be <laughs> the one that lasts. So, AMS Power DC uh, AC Power Inverter. Um, 
This right here just tells me if it's live, if it's producing AC, just a little, you know, cheap unit. Um, this right here is kind of a neat, um, this is similar to a system that you may have heard of called TED. Um, and what this system does is it, it monitors, okay? This is also another wireless thing that's pretty neat. Um, I think this costs about $100 to $150. Um, there's there, a lot of different brands out there. One is called TED. Um, this one is called Current Cost. Um, you know, there's some other ones out there. And what it does is it clamps around. Very easy, very little install. Just clamps around um, your AC going out, and it'll tell you how many watts, kilowatt hours, things of that nature. So it's actually very, very helpful. Um, so again, it goes to the inverter uh, uh, cutoff, so I can actually cut this off at any time. Okay. All right. So just to recap, batteries to the DC to AC power inverter to my output cutoff, and then if we follow it, I'm actually in a shed that helped build. Okay, so we're going to go around, okay, to the other side. Okay, so what it does is it goes to, let me scoot over here, uh, it goes to solar panels and electric, so I can switch from electricity from the grid and solar panels, an instantaneous switch. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so from here, um, I have some monitoring over here that I'll go over, and also over here I have um, the main panel, and again, because we're in a rural area, I have a water pump, um, pool pump, stuff like that. Um, I also have a, 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 um, a gasoline 12 kilowatt backup generator, but I've mainly been using solar. Um, so this is main, um, main for all the, my back area, my five acres, uh, it really helps out. Again, you know, I have, I have a water pump. Uh, filter, water softener, you know, a pool pump back there. So all of this is um, the main control for that main switch off. Okay, so let's go back over here to so the solar panels and electric. Okay, um, this panel right here, I'm able to monitor my AC volts uh, right now, and because we're on electric right now, um, I'm allowing the solar panels to charge the battery system. So right now from the grid, I'm getting about. You know, about 120. I mean, it says 125, but really 120. Um, not pulling much load back here. Um, probably two and a half amps, maybe. I'm not really running anything. My water pump's not on. Filter isn't running. Um, you know, I've just got a few lights on back here. Um, just made a little uh, um, chart too, as well, um, just to show you. Hey, if I'm producing the uh, 10 amps, 600 amp hours, 100, or, um, sorry, 120 watts, 1 amps, you know, just, just to show you on a, a 12 volt scale and a 120, 115 uh, volt scale, just kind of give you an idea of how many watts uh, is required to produce that much on a 12 volt system and a 120 or 115 volt system. Um, and then this is just right here. This is just like the outside panel um, that controls everything regardless if it's on solar or electricity. I have, you know, I have a 500 foot driveway with lights that are, the, that are powered by the, my solar system. You know, I've got the pool. I've got a uh, aircraft hangar garage out back, pump, and a shed. So this is also another main control panel. So again, you know, just recap, uh, just to show you the system, kind of have it mounted on a board, uh, wind turbine system, solar system, kind of integrated together uh, to charge the batteries. And of course, I'd like to definitely add uh, more batteries, you know, in the future. Okay, well, this is the ground mount solar system. Uh, it's four 100-watt um, panels. Um, you can see that it is ground mounted. Right now, we have four of them. Okay. And what I've done is I've installed it uh, using a mounting kit that I found at Northern Tools. Uh, you can see this is part of the mounting kit right here. Um, the mounting kit was originally $100 and it was marked down to $20. Oh, we got some strong winds coming in. But I did install Unistrut right here. You can see this is a Unistrut bar on the mount. And you can actually build this whole thing out of Unistrut. Um, but I just thought that $20 was a good buy for it. Um, what I did was, uh, because I'm not mounting it against the wall, I mounted it against a uh, board right here. So you can see it, it, there's a white board that I just painted white. And I've got some U-bolts that I just installed on that. And I have one solid piece of Unistrut going across to uh, keep it level. Um, the poles are cemented in the ground, so it's pretty stable. Okay. Oh, here's the grape solar uh, information. Uh, 100 watt, um, you know, about 8 kilograms weight, uh, about 18.5 volts, but it's a, actually a 12, 
12 volt panel. Okay. Um, have a junction box installed right here. I have it just shut right now. Um, that's where uh, everything will lead into. So again, the four or five, sorry, uh, grape solar panels. Okay, here's the solar system. And the wind turbine has been installed in front of it. And you can see it's actually spinning quite well. We have about a 10 to 16 mile per hour wind right now, and it's actually picking up. We have a storm front moving in uh, here in central Florida. So wind turbines producing about 200 watts right now. Hear it. I don't know if the video can sync up with how fast the blades are spinning, but they're spinning at a very high RPM right now. And here is the 12 volt BP panel and then the Sun brand 12 volt panels and we have the rest of our mini solar farm back here. Okay, This is the winch that I have for the wind turbine and a cemented in pole. Um, have a come along holding it on uh, into the ground right here uh, next to my solar panels and if I follow it you can see it's actually where the wind turbine is. The blades look very still right now because the uh, video can't keep up with how fast but it's just spinning a uh, at least 100 RPM right now. It's very, very fast. Okay, here's a back view of the Mach 5 wind turbine. You can see it's spinning quite well right now. Um, I do need to put another uh, plastic uh, O-ring on it because uh, it's not moving in the uh, horizontal direction right now because it's metal against metal so the turbine is actually just stationary right now so the winds moving at the perfect direction